Well, the wind is dying down now where I can actually talk. I thought I was going to have to do this whole video without being able to say a word. But once I got the outline of the building, basically I measured over three inches and put another screw in the same way here so that I would actually have the center of the post. And then I restrung the line. Then you've seen me use the plumb bob to find where it hits and then marked it out. So we're going to, now we don't have to take these as deep up there because I'm actually sitting way down in the ground on um, very hard red clay and shale. So I'll probably go down about 12 or 14 inches because the frost line here where I'm at is only six inches deep. So we just have to be below the uh, frost line. So a good six to 12 inches is good enough. So anyway, um, we're getting close to being down about 12, but we're gonna go down farther. Somebody wants to play ball. Well, folks, I had to call reinforcements uh, to help me lay out these three holes right here as far as uh, height goes. I've got my level set up back there. I did have a water level that I was going to use but I actually cut that tube in half so it wasn't long enough for me to use. Now you know you look just you're the splitting image of a neighbor that I used to have over there and I don't know why people like to watch him on my channel. You like know to that? see a little intelligence right <laughs> in a while. <laughs> they, they used to call him my crusty old neighbor. I'm gonna have to train him right since he's He's my neighbor now, right? <laughs> you, you just dropped what you was doing and ran right up mm -hmm. here, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to shoot these pins in so that I can put the cardboard tubes down in there to pour uh, the concrete in. Right? Well, I wasn't expecting to spend a day up here. I was expecting to come up and help you and come home. <laughs> my, my other old neighbor, I would call him up and I'd say, Hey, you want to come up here and help me? Help me out? And he'd say, No. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to train him right. Anyway, okay, you want on the the smart end or the dumb end? It don't matter to me. All right, you go on the smart end, and I'll stay down here on the dumb end. Four foot and three quarter? Yep. Okay, you're four feet, two and one quarter inches. Four feet, four inches. All right, you look past the four and a quarter the halfway mark, but you're still in the black. All right. Well, we've got all of these set, and I don't think we're more than a sixteenth of an inch off on all three of them. You want to stay for the um, uh, concrete party? No. No? No. Well, there's no harm in asking, is there? <laughs> No, you're going to be just like my silly. other neighbor. You're going to be straightforward, truthful, and honest. That was just a silly question <laughs> is what that was. I'm going. Well, we don't like much finishing this little project right here. When I get this one done, this will be all the columns.
The reason I've got four on this column right here is because I've got a splice. I can't mill 18 feet, I can only do 16, so I have to break this up right here. But anyway guys, if you like this kind of building, um, you can click up here in the top right hand corner of when we started the build on the timber frame workshop here. Guys, thanks for watching, we really do appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.